Hi guys, welcome back to another episode on Power BI. In today's video, we are going to learn how to count number of working days between two dates, excluding the public holidays, Saturday and Sundays. Let's get started. Here is the PBX file. Let's quickly go to the data. So I have two tables here. The first one is fact. In this table, I have the country code the order ID, the order date, and delivery date. So I want to find uh, the number of days since the order was placed and when the product was delivered. So, but uh, catch here is I want to exclude the public holidays or bank holidays, and I want to exclude the Saturday and Sundays. So in this table, dim holiday, I have the list of the public holidays. So when I click on this, as you can see here, I have the country code that is Singapore and Philippines, and I have the holiday dates. So these are the holidays. So as you can see, Jan 1st is a bank holiday, and I have a count. So I have approximately, like, I think, maybe 14 or 15 holidays for each country. So I need to exclude these holidays from my calculation. And at the same time, I also want to exclude Saturdays and Sundays. So now if you look into the relationship here, so there is absolutely no relationship between these two tables, the fact and the holiday, but we are gonna use this in our calculation. So let me quickly go back to the data and then select fact. So now I want to calculate the number of uh, working days, right? Now the days, number of days it took from since the order was placed till the delivery date. So it's inclusive of both. So if I'm uh, calculating for this first entry, order ID one, I, I will include the order date as well as delivery date. So if, if you look at the absolute dates, it's 15, right? One till 15, but I want to exclude the public holiday. So Jan 1st is a holiday. And similarly between uh, one to 15, there are like two weeks. So it means two Saturdays and two Sundays. So if I look for a net working days, I should be getting around like 10 days. So now let's add a new column. I'll name this as number of days equal to uh, I'll create a variable. I need to first create a uh, virtual table from my calculation to check whether it's a holiday or a Saturday, Sunday, etc. So I'll name this uh, table as TBL date. So I'll use a calendar function. So if you're not sure how to use, uh, I have created a video on this as well. Please check out my previous videos. So order date will be my starting point and then end date will be my delivery date so this is the virtual table and then i'll create one more variable name it as table final date so i'll add to this virtual table i'll add some calculated columns so i'll use add columns function and then I'm going to add the columns to this table, the virtual table we just created, TBL date. And then the column name. So first we'll check if it's a working day. So I'll name this as working day. And then expression, right? So I'll use if function here. If week day of this column, the virtual uh, table we just created. Return type, so Monday to Friday is a working day. So I'll use this one, two is greater than five, which means if it is a Saturday, Sunday, I'll show it as zero, else one. So this is my first column. The second column is, holiday, okay, this is my second column. I'm gonna check if it is a, if that particular day is a holiday or not. So I'll use lookup value function. So I have 
one more table, right? Which is called as a holiday, dim holiday. So from this table, I want to get the count. So I'll use this dim holiday count. I need to search for the dates in this dim holiday, that is holiday date. And then search value, I need to search for the dates from my virtual table, that is date. Okay. And then I, I, I want to also look for a country code because we have two countries, right? So Philippines and Singapore has different holidays. So I will use the country code. I will look for country code in this dim holiday. And the search value is my country code from my fact table. Okay. Close. So now one more thing is if there is no value, it should not throw me an error, right? So I, what I'll do is I will add if error function just be, uh, before this if error, if, if it is not an error, this if value then zero. Okay. So now we created the final table. So once we have this final table ready with all the calculation, we will do the count return. And then we'll use a sum x function. Sum x from this table, that is table final date. We will use a if function again. If, so first we'll check whether it's a working day or not. If working day equal to one, and we, we need to check if it is a holiday. And holiday, if it's not a holiday, there is zero, we will use one, else zero. Hit enter. So now you should be able to see the results in the, in the column. So now, as you can see here, in this example, in the first entry, so we have so first Jan till first 15. So for total inclusive 15 days out of this four are Saturday, assigned Sundays. So minus four gives you 11. And then Jan first is a public holiday. So again, subtract one. So you have a result of 10. So same thing uh, works for other order IDs as well. So uh, one more thing is this particular uh, function, right, which we have used is a uh, pretty resource intensive. So just be cautious if you are trying to apply this logic in a, a table which has like a large number of rows. Apart from that, it works well. So now if I go back to the metrics here to the report, and then I can add this field, the number of days into this matrix. So let me bring it here. So now we have the network days. So problem solved. I hope this video was helpful. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.